All right, let's have a look at this Gaia D2 of Brighter Darkness. This is the uh, latest in the Disgaea franchise. Kind of a flagship title for uh, Nippon Ichi. And one that I've been following since the, the first game released on PS2 ages ago. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically uh, show a couple of the new functionalities, uh, show a bit of the combat, maybe delve into the item mode a little bit. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'm not going to do anything story mode related, so you won't get any big spoilers. But uh, I will undoubtedly show you some of the characters that you'll see and get over the course of the game. So if you're not interested in that, then you should just probably not watch this video. Alright, let's get started. First thing I want to show off is the uh, is this awesome boy. It has no, no use whatsoever that I have found, but... Sonic, gotta, gotta go fast, I guess. More importantly, the cheat shop that is uh, completely new to this game actually adds a ton to how this game is played. More or less, as you play through the game, you unlock uh, a higher threshold for capping these points. And as you can see, I'm raising this experience bar all the way to the top to 600 points and i've gotten 500 bonus points by doing the side missions and whatnot well not side missions more like side uh the side maps and uh, once you do them you have a higher threshold and also you get these extra cp that you can spend so at this point i'm, I'm getting 600 percent uh, experience from every kill that i get but if i wanted to go a little crazier say i don't need money i don't need mana I just want all the experience. And boom, there you go. 800% experience. The gain is quite significant. And uh, it kind of allows you to choose what you want to enhance in your characters, maximize your time use, and stuff like that. And that's actually a quite nice addition to, uh, to this guy. Because previously, what you would have to do is you would have to go to the assembly which is still present, and it's more or less the same as you would remember from the previous games. I'll show it off real quick. And once you're here, you would basically have to use your mana in order to pass builds like Stronger and uh, a, a lot of other stuff. And that's no longer present to us, like stronger monsters and stuff like that is done all the all the way inside of uh, the the cheat shop, which is actually quite nice because having to pass a bill like eight nine times over and over again, just so that you can have the monsters to be a little stronger every time to maximize your uh, experience gain while you're doing the farming in like a cave of uh, cavern of ordeal or something like that. But now I just do this enemy strength, boom, there you go. Now they are, you know, much stronger than they were previously, and they scale quite well. So you can basically use this to your advantage and say, you know, if they're if they're too weak and you want more experience and you think you can handle more, you just raise this up. If you raise it up too much, you can just go here. It just you, know, you just move the left D-pad, right D-pad, and uh, that'll allow you to customize the strength of the enemies. And not only that, you have the uh, ability to go into a le uh, land of carnage mode anytime you want. And that increases uh, the, uh, the damage and defense. Basically, this overall strength of the enemy is significantly. When I move this all the way to the right, it goes to level 20. However, if I toggle Land of Carnage, it goes straight to 100. And from there, you can increase the enemy strength even further. Like so. Yeah. That's like 2,100 times the strength of the enemy. So, you're, you're, you're not messing around at that point. And also on top of that, you have this uh, Rasetsu mode, which, as it uh, described in the menu, it basically makes the enemies incredibly strong, but also increases the, the ability for you to gain more stats on your items and also reincarnate your characters to be stronger as well. And that's not all that's here. You also have um, item world stuff that you unlock. I had to unlock these by actually going through the item world. I think I unlocked all of it once I finished all 100 floors of it. So basically, if I want to say, well, I want to upgrade my items, 
but I want to uh, concentrate on making the item itself stronger, I can toggle to item. If I want to look for innocent, which are these uh, stab modifiers, I can go into innocent. And basically, as it says, uh, it'll allow me to uh, see it, well, find innocents more often and make their stats higher if I kill them uh, during this route. Uh, the geo count is as, uh, well, you know, the geo panels and stuff like that. I can just toggle it off completely, which I have done for the sake of uh, ease and convenience while I'm doing it. And the island basically makes it so that the item world is uh, either really big but doesn't have a lot of enemies, or really small has a ton of enemies. But at the same time, if you're able to kill the enemies really quick, then cramped is the way to go because uh, you just kill an entire set of enemies and then you move on to the next one. And pirates and treasure, you have a higher chance of encountering uh, treasure uh, along, the, along the path. But at the same time, you'll get invaded by pirates more often, which might be a good or bad thing depending on how strong you are. And you also have a premium base. I haven't unlocked the last one, I'm not sure why. Maybe I have to beat the last uh, Pindarax. And you have these fun things, which are not really a lot of fun, honestly, because why would you want Experience Zero? Why would you want Weapon Mastery Special Skill Experience Zero? I don't, I don't really know why you want that. But I guess that's there. Although auto heal at base is really nice because it heals you automatically to full whenever you're scrolling between maps, which is a nice touch. So you don't have to go back to map to uh, get a full heal. So what I'm gonna do, uh, since I don't need experience and mana and, and uh, money, where I'm gonna do, uh, where I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, increase the uh, increase the weapon mastery. I'm gonna do that to three. No, let's do that to 400, and increase my special skill experience to 300. There you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a bit of the combat, going to the item world, go from there. And also, I mean, uh, the character that I'm control controlling is uh, the female version of Lahoro, which you actually get access to, or you get or you see really relatively early in the game so it's not much of a spoiler as you know screenshots and stuff like that have been out but the context and how that happens is relatively humorous what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings I'm gonna actually turn the effects on because uh, as any veteran uh, the Sky player knows you just can't play with the effects on after a certain amount of time even if the, uh, the attacks and stuff like that are very cool um, do I want to go into this from Land of Carnage mode, or do I want to go through this using regular mode? I go through with Land of Carnage mode, I'm strong enough. In Land of Carnage mode, you have access to uh, much stronger items. The enemies are stronger, but at the same time, um, you get access to uh, these items that are the best in the game, more or less. So. It might, it might be a little dangerous. Let's see. Yeah. So, before it was going to be a uh, level 100 enemies, but now it's going to be a level 2,500 enemies. So, I'm going to have fun with that. Let's go ahead and go into our Arcadia, which is a very nice accessory item that I want to try to level up to uh, the maximum, which is now 999. So, yeah. Okay, going in. At the very beginning of the item world, you have access to a ship shop, which I've gotten multiple ships as I've played through the game. Going through the ship, uh, I mean going through the item world, these pirates invade, you uh, kill them off, and you have access to their ships. A plastic bottle. Yeah. Not a bucket. Yeah, I can't, I can't deal with a cushion because it only goes up to floor 3. Spaceship is kind of cool. Uh, all, all these are pretty nice and all, but uh, I'll go with a tank this time. That's that sounds manly. That sounds really manly. Right, let's, go. let's see if I can get. Not gonna have a Mr. Gensi, so let's go. Ahead. You'll note that uh, as I set the item to be cramped, I mean, uh, as the map cramped is very cramped. 
but it has a ton of enemies. And uh, they're not they're not fooling around. They're already level three thousand and plus. So which is which is okay. I mean I can I can handle these guys for now, I've leveled them up. What I'm doing right now is I'm looking through their items. Oh look. I have I can get two items from them because they're relatively okay, they're legendary. I don't know how good they are, but I wanna grab them because they're legendary and I don't have them yet. So I'm gonna use my thief. It's mine, meow! Maybe I'll just kill a bunch of them first. Which is the one with the Kraken Tentacles. I'm not sure if that's good, but I want it. So I want to avoid killing this guy and this guy while making a path more or less. Let's use Flan. Yes. As you can see, she has gone full magical girl. And that's something that also happens within the storyline. You can also switch back from her Fallen Angel status in this one, but this one gives you uh, an access to a, a rather nice skill and uh, other stuff, so this is what I'm using for now. Let's start out with probably one of my favorite attacks in the game, Flonzilla. a really good uh, really good monster weapon of that type so I'm gonna steal this spirit oh that's awful that makes me a set kind of uh, that's, that's slightly better I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go with my other guy I won't lose. and just go straight into the boot and the good thing about this uh, hero is that he basically is able to face through the enemies uh, without any problems, kind of like a flying enemy, uh, even though he's just kind of walking. But regardless, I designed him specifically for this purpose, as you'll undoubtedly see in the future. That's level 1 cleared. And each stage, I'll try to show off a new skill or something like that. Legendaries for me to steal. Not bad, I can see. But I do want that treasure chest, so I want to go ahead and get it. Ready? Go! Go! Let's do a nice big bang attack. Because that's not acceptable. Ready? Right. Go! Nope. the universe so that I can get that chest it was necessary. Uh, it's too late for regrets. I guess I'll use Flan again because I don't have good access to this skill. Actually no, I'll use the rudder this time. Here I go! Should be weak enough for me to kill him anymore. Ha! I have an ability of rather interesting effect which means that after I kill someone with this guy I have the ability to move again so let's see if this will kill I won't lose love and courage there you go okay good job nicely walk in moving on let's see more or less the same thing. Looking for items to steal. But that's how you get it. Right? Ooh, room staff. Which, which guy had the room staff? Yeah, there, I thought I saw a legendary room staff. Okay, there it is. Sometimes I feel I might be losing my mind. Okay. Uh, 
do want to make a bit of a path in order to get to that treasure chest as well, so... Let's go ahead and use Nahara this regress. time. And use Dimensional Slash in order to clear out these front guys. This should work nicely. Let's see. It's too late for regrets! I'm sure I don't have to explain that this game has some r rather ridiculous effects in one mode. That's Mr. Axel! The good thing about doing it with a, with a thief is that uh, you don't have to use any of these items in order to steal. Eh, it's not bad, but I have one much better, but at the same time, it's like there's something. So this time I'll use Magical Beauty Angel Transform. Terra Star should be fine for my purposes. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't want to be stuck. Constantly. It's mine! Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can play these two off. You already saw that, so I skipped the animation. The rush will actually be for all my efforts. Set that down. Let's go. There! Ha! Ha! I'm gonna skip the attacks you've already seen. And while I'm going through these uh, stages, I'll also have these access to this uh, basically like mystery stages. Some of these items are alright, but none of them are legendary, so I don't need any of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk out of this. I won't lose. Let's go I'll just only go through the ten floors, and then I'll back out after that. Maybe show an actual map. I kinda want this chest, but let's check out the enemies first. Nothing too great. And that's not even the, uh, the ultimate chest either. That'll just give me a rare item, not a legendary, so I can skip it. There! Ha! Let's walk into all the enemies. This one is blocked off by this guy, and this guy actually has a ton of defense power, so I'm gonna have to actually take that one seriously. Mm. Pegasus, is that good? It's mine, meow. That good, honestly. I'll take it anyway. I collect lots of things. It's just a thing to do. I'm gonna go ahead and murder him. What extreme prejudice. Better days is this kind of thing. Moving on. I won't lose. Ha! Yeah. 
going through these stages at a relatively uh, swift pace, which is nice. That's the point. I mean, there's so many floors you can. Ooh, not that. The chest that I want. Alright. I'm gonna break a path. Go here. Let's do that. Let's use a new skill. It's too that. late for regrets. Let's use. Why even attack your enemies with a move if you can't ride on top of them and talk trash on the way down? Right? It's only common sense. Ready, go! Look at these DC chests. Waiting to be And the reason why I use the thief to open these chests is because she has an ability. No, I did not say that wrong. Ability. Uh, that allows a chest, when defeated, increase its rank by 3. Which is awesome. Go ahead and break this, and hopefully I'll get an awesome, awesome weapon. Yeah. Okay, so that, let's see what we got. Cosmo muscle. I don't have that yet, so okay, that's not good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Everyone's voice fueled my courage. Ha! Uh oh, we have a pirate invasion. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. So I'm not. And I already have their uh, their ship, even though it's awful, so I don't really want it. And this guy is an innocent, meaning he's not hostile to me particularly, but if I subdue him by murdering him, I get his benefits added to my item, which can be moved at a later time. But more importantly, I have this shiny chest that needs to be opened. Go ahead and do that. It's mine, meow! I do want to actually kill these guys at the same time while I'm doing this. Yeah, I guess I don't have to. Yeah, I'll just keep it simple. Providence. Huh, and she has learned a new skill. Great. As you remember, I increased the gain of... Uh, Weapon masteries, and that just kicked in right there. Every time I attack with a certain weapon, I gain some mastery, and uh, that worked out just nicely right there. That's good. Let's check the weapons real quick. Spirit Bell. Oh wow, this guy has a Propel Vernier. Awesome. Propel Vernier is an excellent, excellent movement accessory. So, Book of Death. Go ahead and uh, steal. That spear belt, no, not you. Oh, I knew there was a guy here somewhere. There we are. And the reason why I have a 99% chance to steal is because I am much higher level than them. So, haha, <laughs> sucks to be you guys. That's fine. And now, I'm gonna kill that. Uh, it's sense. too late for regrets. Yeah. I'll use Overlord Dimension. Laharl's ultimate skill. Yeah. Now my business here is done. Let's move on. I won't lose. Ignoring the pirates because they don't ha! have hmm. Yet another innocent for me to claim. Checking the items as usual. What I want is a rank 39 weapon or accessory. That would 
eat other treats. Well, it doesn't look like there is anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this one simple. Let's go! I guess I'll show you another Let's time. go! Uh, good old Axel. The useless, useless bastard. Although I buffed him up, hey, so he's actually what? quite strong. Of course, he gets his own boots on. Notice that I got a bonus from killing that innocent because of the, the route that I took. It's mine, meow. Yeah. I want to make sure she dies as fast as she can. Let's do. Uh, let's do what is she like? If this is a killer, at the very least, you don't move her. Like so. She didn't die, but she's no longer obstructing my path at the gate, so. I don't even need to finish her off. That is the beauty of this weapon. I'm if coming! You're finish, if you're not strong Here enough I to go. kill them, you can move them out of the way. Ha! All right, here I am at level 10, and at each 10th uh, level, you have to fight a, an item king, or an item general, or an item god. And they're much stronger than the, uh, the regular enemies, obviously. And on top of that, uh, they basically okay. They basically give your item a nice boost in stats and ability. So definitely need to finish him off. Let's go it's ahead too late for regrets. Off. But it looks like I'm not uh, close enough to reach him. So what I'm gonna do is do the old this guy trick, which is to it's mine, meow. lift him up in the air. It's too late for regrets. So. Toss him in the general direction of the enemy. Oh. And he's close enough, well, she's close enough, to go murder him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much health do you have? 900k. Hmm. I'll actually have to use, uh. Eh, I guess I'll use Dark Knight Slash. It should be enough, I'm not sure. Let's see. It's hard to move in this body. Oh well. <laughs> Oh yeah, what was that? I underestimate the Harl. I can choose to fight all the enemies, finish them all off, uh, thereby finishing the stage. And that would give me a possibility at uh, getting some... Does it say Tupac? Is the weapon named after Tupac? But anyway... As you can see, the bonus meter on the right side, it increases uh, with things like geo panel combos, but I turn geo panels off for the sake of simplicity. And not to, and I don't want to be bothered by a bunch of these uh, panels that's like enemy uh, enemy take 50% more damage or invincibility on a, on a panel where a bunch of enemies are standing in. So, But at the same time, uh, it does kind of remove a bit of the challenge of the game. So normally I would just leave it on, but I was just hunting uh, items and such, so I just didn't. I'm not gonna bother killing because I can't really raise my bonus speed all that high. Uh, what my tool says, so I'm gonna leave. There we go. And at the tenth level, you have the option to exit anytime you want. So. This is a one-time deal, meaning I can buy whatever I want. But after I get out of this, Ooh, that's not bad. What I'm looking at is basically stats and also the innocents on the right. When I subdue them, their their numbers double. Statisticians, for example, right there increases the uh, experience gain. So if I subdue that uh, innocent, then it'll become 62% increase. And I could stick that on uh, 
Ooh, that's actually really nice too. Two doses of sparring partner. Don't wanna level that up. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these. As you can see, they cost like 14 million, but I have about what I have 65 billion right now, so I don't really care about money. You know? Dollar dollar bills, yo, or something like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. Sparring partner is cool. I can do better than 31 statistician. Mad that you're so right, but uh, it's, it's a couple of what a bunch of other stuff I don't need, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, that's fine. And these are the innocents that I subdued. Amnesiac and Manager. Which is good, which is nice. Because I wasn't really even looking for them, so let's go ahead. And for now I'm gonna I'm gonna exit out. And I'll show you a bit of the the Dark Council. And that's the increase that I gave to the, to the weapon, or the item, by going through these floors. Excellent. Though. Look at that. They went from about 2,500 to all stats, to almost 4,000 now. So, that's very nice. And uh, I can le keep leveling this thing up, and I will. But, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I did like a 999 floor, and did a, did a video on it, I don't think it would be good for anyone's sanity. So, I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, okay. Now that I reached the tenth floor, I can go into the item assembly, which is more or less the same thing as the other one, but at the same time, I have some very unique effects. I can do things like increase the HP by five percent, greatly increase by twenty percent, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, it costs 4 billion to do this, but luckily for me, I have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the, the attack value by 20%, which is pretty significant. So I'll do that for now. It almost feels like I should save this for when the leveling. Hmm, I should consult this book. I mean, Arcadia is not the, the best item in the game either, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And probably I'll do speed after this one. On the 20th or 30th floor. Okay, as you can see, I am now at this thing that kind of looks like a courtroom or something like that. And basically, these are senators, and uh, they have to vote to allow me to get a certain thing or not. And as you can see, these red guys don't like me. Don't like the idea of what I'm trying to pass. So they'll probably say no. Which is unfortunate. Because either I'll have to murder them. To, you know, kind of change their minds, as it were. Or I'll have to do something else. In order to swing them my way. For example, let's see. I'm going to look for the guy at the highest level. Do you guys are all chomps. Chomps are chomps. 6,500, but he's a problem, so I'll leave it alone. Hmm. I don't want to wake this guy, because he's sleeping. He's already against me anyway. I'll do 4,190. Okay, this guy. This guy really hates my idea, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make him see reason, as it were. Yeah, I no longer have any need for it. Floral ring, so I can just have him. I don't care if you just can have him. Now he's either way from being hating my idea, so... The power of bribing with items. I don't need any of Take him, take him, take him, take him. Don't kill him. Support. Great. Now he's totally blue and uh, in favor of this build that I'm trying to craft. It's probably not gonna pass still, but as you can see, you can kind of change the ideas of uh, well, the minds of the senators by bribing them, which is nice if you have the items. As I have so expertly predicted, it has been denied. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that. I can also choose to, like I said, murder them, but that takes time, and who has time when they can just throw money at their guns? Okay, by giving them 3 million, 
I can change the approval rating to 99%. And there you go. Democracy in action. Yeah, it's like this. I know. But let's, let's keep that between us. Alright, moving on. Now that the uh, past thing, my attack has increased significantly. And that'll also help it grow better as well, which is which is nice. And uh, I don't want to mess with any of these. So. Actually, I, I guess I could pass another build, but I'll do that on my own time. That's fine. Alright. Okay, now that the item world has been shown off a bit, what else do I have? Oh, basically as you create characters in the game, they appear in your overall map more or less. And if you talk to them, their likability to you goes up. And the reason for that is because I, I do a lot of things where it gets me killed or I end up hitting my own guys. So their likability hasn't really gone up. I had a, I had a couple of mats uh, with Flan and Edna and stuff like that. But, uh, but as you can see, I've reincarnated three times. Killed 3,186 enemies with a horror and all this stuff. Killed also 11 allies, so not so great for me. But my max damage so far on this character is 11 million, so not bad. Not, bad. not the best, but not bad either. I'm well on my way to the end game. I guess I'll show off a bit of the, the leveling process and I guess the mounting thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reincarnate Flaw so that she can uh, basically get more stats as she levels up through the process of reincarnation. And when I do that, I'm also going to level up another character too. Kind of a uh, two birds, one stone deal. All the intelligence in the world, yay. Now her intelligence uh, is off the charts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and since she already has essence stuff, which is the weapon I look up. I can change her color if I want. Purple? Purple? Purple's a good color. Let's go for that. Now she's level 1 instead of level 9,999. Oh no. The terrible mistakes I've made in life has caught up with me. But that's actually not true. As you can see, I've made preparations to be able to level relatively quickly. Let's see. First of all, she has Testament, which is the item that I want for her. And just for the sake of making her stronger, I'm going to go ahead and equip her with the Arcadia, which is very powerful. That Providence is awesome that I got. That's really nice. Wow, <laughs> all that hit. I gave that to one of my... Uh... Mm. I'll give that to one of my... Like, gun users or something. And that'll work out quite nicely. Uh, first off, I'm a little weak to kill the Land of Carnage guys straight off the bat. So I'm gonna go ahead and normalize all the experience. Weapon mastery, don't need it. Uh, mana and money is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this to 50%. This. Mana is kind of useful, so I'm gonna also drop this to 50%. Now I'm getting 800% experience. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch to normal mode again. Make the enemies a lot stronger than they were before. Not as strong as Land of Carnage, of course, but at the same time, it's strong enough for me to gain quite a lot of levels in a relatively quick pace. And what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and go for the Cave of Ordeals. Well, there's 10 episodes in the game, as you can now see. But, you know, knowing is not half the battle. That's how that saying goes. Don't, don't argue with me. Alright, uh, moving on. Alright, Flan, who is level 1, still has ridiculous stats because of all the items that she has. So, I don't even need to do this, but I'm gonna anyway, because I can level 2 characters at once this way. I'm gonna level up Minya, who's a monster type character. And I'm gonna have Flan ride I'll carry you. Yep. Nice, nice zoomed up. 
you know, you know they're, just, they're just hanging out. Just, just riding on top of it. No, no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess I'll buff her up. I don't think it's necessary, but I'll do it anyway, because I can. Ready, go! Magic boost. And I'll give her basically a hundred percent because she already has some high made it out here. And actually, I think that only increases her stats. So that's kinda of useless then. Okay, well. I'm not sure if that uses Rainier skills or my skills, but let's find out. This is a combination attack. When you're mounted on a monster enemy, you have access to one new unique skill. And depending on the lack ability between the monster and uh, the, the human, humanoid that's riding her, the ability uh, skill for the power increases. So let's give this a try. Let's have this. Got I'm not sure if this will kill, but... No, she totally dead. Yeah, I underestimated them. I'm looking for it. Eh, I mean, she still gained 518 levels, so well, 17 levels. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. But at the same time, it does kind of suck. A little Ready? I wanted to show off that skill. And that was kind of a but, yeah. what I'm gonna do now, since I've gained the levels. My stats are also much higher, so... It's hard to move in this body! Let's see if I can take care of those nine guys on top of us. Let's do that again, but this time... Magic boost. Oh, and dying in this game is really no big deal. I mean, if you care about likability, yeah, it's kind of a problem. But at the same time, uh... It doesn't really matter. You can also pass bills to increase that as well. So I'm not gonna show animation for this because we've already seen it. I guess I could do extreme love. It's not gonna kill all the enemies, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's a it's a very flan-ish attack. So I'll show it up. from that she gained about a thousand levels so yeah leveling in this game has gotten a lot easier ever since yeah. I got the, the 800 percent thing and on top of that I have a bunch of statisticians saved up in my island so that's fine. I'll use another attack um, let's do holy arrow this is a rather simplistic attack but just to show off that not all attacks are ridiculous, even though I'm shooting hard to people and making them die, but that's besides the point. So as you can see, leveling is quite quick and simple, and what I failed to do before, I'll do now. Because she's so much stronger, I can just... Really Don't take me like this. Get on! And this way... They'll both get experience. Yeah. Yes, and Rainier has gone up for like 480 levels. And she didn't have to lift the big girl. And there you go. Both characters getting experience. Great. Right. Let's see. That was basically two maps. And Flan's level is now 2,500. Once I reach about level 4,000 or 5,000, I can switch over to the Land of Carnage version. Actually, I'm not even sure if I have to wait for that. Yeah, I don't. I don't even need to wait for that. I'm just gonna go do that. Now. She's become so strong. 
ridiculous. But that is one of the beauties of this game. You start out feeling weak, but as you progress through the game, and you put in the effort to get all these items, kind of have these preparations made, and you can make your characters insanely strong. And being able to just seam roll through enemies that you had trouble beating before, or basically just one man rambling through like a whole horde of enemies is, is actually kind of fun. And I think that's something that this guy does better than any other RPG game. Because basically, in any other game you play through, and you go through the the end game content, meaning you just beat the it's beat the secret boss, do a couple of side missions, get the best items. But in this game, the best item is so far Ready, from go. what you can achieve. You can go so much higher, do so much better than you can uh, normally, just by planning ahead and figuring out get what you want to do with your characters and stuff like that. And the game really rewards you handsomely for it. And uh, that's what I've always liked about the Disguise games. And I think in this game particularly, it has made that even easier than before, which is great. Hopefully Terra Star will be enough to finish them all. I'm not sure actually. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do actually, is I'm going to weaken them up. And I have her do a big dang attack. Red. Put in a bunch of damage. Damn it. She killed them. Killed one of them using her temper. Oh well. A master being an idol. Go with her crit. Her magic. I'm skipping through the animations to make this go quicker. And there you go, a million damage. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the guys up top. I don't need any help anymore. So. Actually, I don't even need to bluff it because my range for attack for magic is so ridiculous. And Google's dead now. Everyone's dead. I leveled up. But let's see how many. I was level 2500 before. I am now level. Level 6,186. So yeah, I've done this. Uh, the only thing I really it's need too late for regrets. is uh, basically magic, which I constantly miss for some reason. And then I'm gonna go ahead and murder them all again. <laughs> At level 6,000-ish, that's excellent. I haven't been able to do that before, so she's even stronger than she was before. And only getting stronger. Okay. As you can see, leveling in this game can get really, really quick. And that's good, because you'll need it. This game throws some ridiculous challenges you with 8400. I think one more run of that map will get me to 999. No problem. Excellent. But, like I was talking about equipment, this testament that I have holds all these statisticians. Each one that has 300 on it, that means it increases my uh, experience gain for 300%. That have three of them. So that's 900% more or less, on top of the 800% that I'm already getting, and on the, on the top of that there's a geo panel that the enemies are standing on as 100%. So it's like exponential growth for the experience that I'm grabbing, the managers give me mana. So I, I hunted all those items down, personally. I went into the item world, I subdued the innocent, getting only 20, 30 at a time at some at point. And I, I, did, I put in the work and effort to get to this point where I can level up very quickly. And it's worth it, because this opens up a whole new level of uh, customization, which I quite enjoy. And one other thing that's actually quite new that I enjoy it's the ability to steal on ability. Ability to steal on ability. Say that a ton of times. Jeez. Okay. Basically, I say I can take an ability from a character that likes me. If my likability with them is at maximum, I can just straight up steal their ability 
and have two ability, which is amazing. You can have some crazy combinations with your character. For example, the one that I'm working on right now is an ability uh, from Monique. She has an ability to decrease the damage taken by 80% when defending. That's great, but how useful is she if she's only defending? However, if I were to couple that with a different ability from Victoria, who has the ability to defend her allies regardless of distance, so basically if she's sitting at base defending, she's gonna be swapping towards her allies and uh, defending for them when they're about to get hit if their like ability is decent enough. So if I couple that with this, then I have an ability to defend, uh, protect my allies at anywhere across the map and at the same time increase my defense by 80%, making her incredibly tough to kill. So you have, I mean, there there was no guy, there was no, no one telling me to do this. I just looked through their ability and decided that that combination would be fantastic. So I gone ahead and did that. I also gave Lahoro a second ability that increases his attack power when making a single target attack. Because he has an SS rank of the uh, Overlord Dimension attack, which is one of the strongest attacks in the whole game. Basically, this will make it so that whenever I use that, my attack power will increase by 50% because it's a single target attack. And I also made things like uh, uh, for Pure Flan. She has a skill now, that which I stole from someone else. Special skill power increased by 30%, but 50% more SP used. But uh, as you saw before, I have a huge pool of SP, so I'm not worried about the SP use at all. You know, I have, what, 250,000, and my skills use maybe 5,000 or so. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. So now she has 30% more damage with her skills, which is fantastic. So. Uh, you know, great customization in your items, through the item world, in your characters, through the, the assembly, the ability, the reincarnation, and everything else in between. This game basically has everything you would expect from a Disguise game, and it, it streamlines a lot of it without actually taking away uh, a lot of the death, which I quite enjoy, so yeah, this is uh, this has been Disguise D2 of Bright Darkness, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.